So there are three ways that I think about social change and three lens that I think that is critical for all of us to hold as we do this work. Number one, when we're talking about social change, the only way that you're gonna achieve social change is to, to really be able to talk about systems change. But the reality is you can't talk about systems changes at the same time you don't talk about the four levels of oppression and racism. This work to solve complex social issues has to be transformational. It just has to be. It cannot be performatory. If you do it in a performatory way, you'll get a performatory result. And so in talking about complex social change and social issues and talking about um, um, systems change, I'm talking about the six conditions that I think are necessary. You have to shift the way you think, your mental models, these thoughts, these, these narratives that we tell ourselves and we allow people to tell us about ourselves. You have to shift resource flows in terms of where resources are going in systems. You have to be clear about the power dynamics that are happening um, and be clear about what that means. We have to be clear about our relationships and our connections. And lastly, we have to be clear about the policies and practices that are contributing, contributing to inequitable outcomes. <clears throat> But it doesn't stop there because oftentimes with systems change work and solving complex social change, people want it to go quick. But the reality is we have to make sure that we embrace process as strategy, that the process is, itself is strategy. And so we have to spend time being clear about naming and having awareness around the issue. We have to have deep analysis of how that issue is showing up in our lives, in our relationships and communities. We then have to be clear about given this new awareness, what does it mean for my role? What am I gonna do to make sure I'm not complicit in this as we move forward? And then it moves to this place of really talking about what is the action that I need to take and how am I gonna be accountable to myself and also be accountable to my community members as well. But I think the last thing that's most important around systems change work and solving complex social issues is not enough for you to just be a supporter. It's just not enough for you to be a supporter. You can't be a supporter, you can't be an advocate, and you can't be a leader. You have to be a champion around this work. And what that means is that you're willing to use all your social, relational, financial capital in service to changing that issue in our community, right? That you have to be willing to use all of your will and to provide cover for others that are taking risk in our communities, right? You have, to be used, you have to be willing to go into your networks, personal, professional, institutional, and raise the question that no one else will raise. That's what a champion does. And if you want to solve complex social issues, and if you want to do systems change, all three of those things are critical, but your ability to make the choice to be a champion, and that's something that's essential.